This video is designed to help you get a great workout every time you go to the gym because there's way too many people out there who are literally going to the gym and not feeling like they got a good workout. Leaving the gym feeling disappointed because they didn't get something done. Leaving the gym just feeling like they wasted their time. So check this out. This video is going to help you make sure when you show up, you get in the groove and you leave feeling satisfied like you made some progress. So the first thing I want you to understand, it's a principle. You got to understand you've got to focus on what you can control. Don't focus on what you can't control. Let's make an example. Let's say you're doing biceps and someone's on the machine that you want to be using. Maybe your workout calls for a certain machine and someone's on there. Well, you can't get to it. You can't control that. So what you can control is going to do a different bicep exercise. There's so many of them. Maybe you choose to do the second exercise on your plan and then later come back to the machine that you couldn't get to. Or maybe you just find another bicep exercise to do all together because really what's important with training is you follow the spirit of what the training calls for. Remember, training is only about 20% of the equation. So as long as you are following the spirit of the training, you're going to make tons and tons of progress. So again, you focus on what you can control, not what you can't. So you can't control someone hogging a machine. You can't get to it. Don't sweat it. Go do something else. Okay. Now, on that level, we also need to look at distractions. Distractions are key. You can control distractions. Your cell phone. Put that thing in your car. Put it somewhere. If you're doing a set, checking your cell phone, doing a set, checking your cell phone, you're not giving either of the activities your full attention, which means you're not going to be happy with either or. So, well, I suppose if you're scrolling on Instagram or TikTok, it doesn't take a whole lot of attention, you're just wasting a burning time, but you're not going to be disappointed in that. But I guarantee you, you'll be much happier if you focus on your workout because your workout deserves your attention. And if you do focus on your workout, if you choose to focus on what you can control, which is your workout and not your phone, you're going to leave feeling good. So your phone, get that thing out of the way. The next thing is socializing. Socializing is a big one. People tend to go to the gym to socialize too much. Now, I'm not saying don't go to the gym and have a good time, but what I am saying is don't get caught up having conversations. Say the hi, say the goodbyes, have the laugh, have the giggle, whatever it is. But don't get caught in a conversation. You know, a conversation is going to be far too long to have between sets. And keep in mind, you go to the gym for a purpose. You go to the gym to get a good workout. Now, if you're going to the gym to socialize, this video is not for you. But if you're watching this channel, you're here to make some results. So that being said, you got to watch socializing. Now, what do you do when someone tries to talk to you in the middle of a set? Just politely tell them, that you're focusing on your training and that you'll talk to them when you're finished. And the odds are they probably won't come back and do that again. And you basically are polite and respectful and there's nothing wrong with that. So again, you need to avoid distractions, avoid your phone, avoid socializing, and more importantly, avoid watching the television in these things. There's, in these gyms, there are TVs all over the place. And people, you find people sitting on a machine watching television because they chose to leave their phone in their locker or their bag. It's the same thing. You need to focus on your training. If you literally go into the gym with the idea that you're going to get your workout done and leave with minimal distraction, you'll be really blown away with how well you actually execute that point. So again, you're focusing on what you can control and avoiding what you can't control. You want to get into a groove when you're training. When you're in a groove, that's where you want to stay. And distractions are going to take you out of your groove. Getting frustrated with things you can't control are going to take you out of your groove. You get to the gym. If you feel like you're not ready to engage, this is a big one. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you're unmotivated. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Do something to break a sweat. Maybe go in the sauna if they have a sauna. Maybe you get on a cardio machine, not for the cardio, to break a sweat. Maybe you just start doing a really light warm-up until you break a sweat. Once you break a sweat, literally everything will change. Your brain releases dopamine. It's going to make you want more. And more importantly, your body's physiology changes when you break a sweat. So you're going to actually feel much more ready to engage in your workout. But again, control what you can control. If you're not ready to engage in your workout, don't warm up. 
for some reason, you show up at the gym and you're chomping at the bit to get in there and go, go. You control what you can't control. You're ready to go. Get in there. If you're not ready, don't. Don't engage. Get yourself warmed up. Change your physiology. Get your dopamine. Boom. Then you'll be ready to go. But the bottom line is this. It's all about understanding what you got to do when you get there. There are so many little things that have become gym culture that distract us and take us away from what we want, which is to get a good workout, which is to make some progress. So again, think about the culture of working out in current society. It's not really conducive to getting in there kicking ass and making progress. That being said, again, focus on what you can control, avoid distractions, get into your groove and stay there. And you're going to be really, really happy with the time that you spend in the gym. But more importantly, you'll actually start to look forward to going to the gym because you're going to feel like you're getting something done when you're there. You're going to enjoy the feeling you get when you're there. You're going to enjoy the feeling you get when you leave because you've accomplished something. Then showing up to the gym feeling motivated is going to be that much easier. You see, this turns into a positive vortex, all because you started off by focusing on the things that you can control rather than the things that you can't. Again, this whole thing just sews itself together. That being said, go have a great workout. This whole thing will fall into place in just two, three trips to the gym if you follow what I'm telling you. But more importantly, if you like some of the stuff I'm saying on this channel, you might want to check out my coaching. Look in the description box below. Click the link. Check it out. and We'll see if we're a good fit to work together.